Hey guys, it's me, Steph. So, I wanted to tell you about exercise. So before I started HCG, I used to walk up and down this hill next to my uh, building that I work in every day at lunch for half an hour, very fast. A uh, high elevation is a nice hill, and we would go up and down that about 12 times. It would take us about 30 minutes to do it, and people at my work thought we were absolutely insane because we walked so fast and because of how many trips up and down this high elevation uh, hill that my friend and I walk up and down. Well, anyway, so I dropped all of that when I started P2 because I didn't want to mess anything up, so I, I completely quit walking. So. That means there was absolutely no walking for like counting weekends, um, maybe 37 days, something like that. So I have not walked up and down that hill. So Monday, when I started, I thought, oh my gosh, if I make it up and down that hill once, it will be a miracle. And if I make it up twice, it'll be a quadruple miracle, you know, just craziness. So, my friend and I, and she hadn't walked either because we're partners, and um, so we we walked the whole thing as if we had never stopped walking. And I was so amazed. I thought I would be weak. I thought I would just not be able to do it. I thought that I don't know what I thought. So today, when I was talking to somebody about it, I was like, I am so amazed. And then today we did it again. Walked up and down that really fast. The whole 30 minutes, it was unbelievable, this hill, because it is so high elevation that you breathe as if you're running. So, I mean, it's not like super steep, but anybody that walks it is like, oh my gosh, that hill is horrible. How do you guys do that? So, Anyway, um, then somebody said, you know why I bet it's not hard for you, Steph? Because you just lost 30 pounds. Can you imagine carrying 30 pounds up and down that hill? And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she's right. I never even looked at it that way, but I was carrying a sack of sugar and fat a 30 pound sack of sugar and fat up and down that hill that I don't have on my body now. So now when I walk up and down that hill, even though I probably lost, I'm not as in as good a shape, it didn't matter because I'm, I, I dropped that bag of 30 pounds. Craziness, huh? So for you guys, Jason, that are worried about working out, I just want to tell you, first of all, when I lost so much out of my arms and my muscles started showing up, I'm not a strong person in my arms anyway, never have been, um, I realized that the abnormal fat really is coming off. And when I look like I'm starting the beginnings of a six pack, the abnormal fat is coming off. The muscles are still under there. So they're not gonna go anywhere. And then somebody told me, I used to be a long distance runner, and somebody told me one time that muscles have a very good memory, and I believe that. So I would not worry about not working out during P2 because it is just amazing. The whole thing about losing so much weight and then having that energy still, and then your muscles are under there. They're just gonna show up more because now you have gotten rid of rid of that abnormal fat. So don't mess up P2 by trying to exercise too much, okay?